How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. Ah, that old lawn chair is actually pretty comfortable. So I have done a little bit of work off camera. As you can see I built a road that runs all the way down to the bridge and also gives us good access to our second field. So I rented a little scraper that I hooked onto the John Deere and I got this road built and also I cleaned up the yard a little bit over here just to make it easier for us to get in and out of the shed. Now, the plan for today is we need to start work on these fields. We need to get them ready for seeding, which means we need to get fertilizer as well as lime onto these fields. Now, we don't have a spreader, so that is obviously a problem. I've been keeping an eye out for a second hand one online that'll fit the John Deere, but unfortunately nothing has popped up, so I think we're going to have to buy new. So yeah, hopefully that won't be too expensive. The other problem I have is getting lime and fertilizer to the property. Now I can ask them to deliver, but that's obviously going to cost extra. And I got chatting to my neighbor over there that obviously saw, well, all of this going on. So he came over, very, very nice gentleman. And as we are chatting, telling him what I'm sort of planning over here, that exact issue came up. And he said, well, he might be able to help. He's got some equipment that he's selling at the moment, which might be handy. In particular, sort of a backloader, as well as a trailer. So he said he'll get it out of the shed, and I can come and take a look. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, because that'll be extremely handy. Now, I haven't asked about price yet. Because I obviously want to take a look and see if it'll work for us first. But hopefully it won't be too expensive. Because that is exactly what we need. Because there's no front loader attachment on this. And I don't think it'll be an option to get something like that fitted. A back loader would be ideal. My only concern is the tractor isn't very heavy. And I don't know how big this back loader is because it might just lift the front wheels uh, off the ground if it's too heavy. Let's see. So he said through the gate to the right. Ah, there we go. He is home, so that's good. We want to have a chat with him. Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. I mean, it is quite big, though. Hmm. It might actually lift the front wheels off the ground. Hmm. On its own, probably not. But if we have a heavy bag or a crate or something on the end of it, especially when it's extended, I don't know if our little John Deere is going to cope. But I am quite interested. We can always try and get a weight on the front of the tractor. That might actually be really, really handy. Because I was a bit concerned about how we're going to move stuff around. I think that might actually work really well. A lovely little trailer as well. I mean, very basic, but that's exactly what I want. Basic means easy maintenance. Okay, I'm actually very interested in both of these items. So I'm going to have a quick chat with him, see if we can agree on a price. And we'll see how this thing ends up doing. I think we're going to have to somehow get a weight on the front of the tractor. I think this is going to be too heavy if we try to lift something. But I want to get it anyway, because... Maybe if we do upgrade to a bigger tractor that doesn't have a front loader, then this will still be extremely handy. So yeah, it definitely opens up some options for us if we do get that. So yeah, I'm going to have a chat with him, see if we can make a deal on these two items, and we'll take them home. All right, so we shook hands at £4,000, which I think is a pretty good price for both these items. Now, I've already got the trailer back at the property and we'll get this over there as well see if it works Ooh, that is heavy but it works it moves fantastic but yeah that is very heavy the tractor's squatting pretty good yeah the steering's very very light as well so we're gonna have to get a weight on the front of this tractor somehow because we're not going to be able to lift much with this thing weighing so much already and it's quite a long reach out there which is going to make the problem even worse but yeah anyway i think this is going to work out really well for us i'm quite eager to know what else he is selling 
he just got this out of the shed, particularly because it's what I was looking for, or at least something like it, but it doesn't sound like it's all that he's selling. So when I see him again, I'll ask him um, what else he does have for sale, because maybe he'll have something that will be useful to us, or maybe I can just ask him to take a look around, because it sounds like he's just doing a cleanup of all of his sort of old equipment that's been sitting around for years that's either been replaced or simply not really in use anymore. All right, so I have got the lifter unhooked. I'm just about coming up to the shop to hopefully buy a spreader and hopefully not spend too much money, but we'll have to see what they have available. I'm also going to have a quick chat with them to see if we can find a solution for a weight on the front of this tractor because it's not actually set up to carry a weight. So we'll see what they say about that. And hopefully they've got something uh, that'll work for us. That we can actually get today. That's the other thing. Will they have it in stock, even if they do have a solution? But anyway, hopefully they do. And if they do, we'll take that and the spreader. We'll take that back to the farm. Then we'll hook up to the trailer, come back over here, and get a few bags of fertilizer as well as lime. And then we can start work on the fields. Alright, so I got myself a lovely little spreader. There was actually two that I was looking at. I got the bigger one. It was about 3,250 pounds. The other one was only a thousand pounds, but it was much smaller. So I decided to go for the bigger one instead. So I think that'll work really well for us. I also do have an attachment on the front of the tractor, which will allow us to lift weights, which is fantastic. Problem is, they didn't have any weights in stock in the weight that I was looking for. Only really, really big ones. So we're going to have to try and figure out something there. I think I might hop across the road again and have a chat with my neighbor to see if he's got anything lying around that I can either borrow off of him or possibly buy. But yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, the attachment on the front here I think is going to be really handy. I probably won't keep it on there all the time just because it does hang quite low so it might bottom out. Um, but I think it'll do the job once we can find a weight for it. But yeah, I have got the trailer hooked up at the moment. Now I'm going to head back to the shop to get a few bags of lime as well as probably one bag of fertilizer. I think about three bags of lime will probably do and one bag of fertilizer will be good. Uh, but yeah, then we'll have to find a solution uh, for this weight problem that we have, or the lack of one rather, uh, so that we can actually get the bags off of the trailer and into the spreader so we can get it out onto the field. But anyway, I'm going to get this loaded up, well, paid for, and loaded up, and then we'll head over and see if he's got anything available there for us. All right, so we have got ourselves some lime as well as some fertilizer over there, and I have got the lifter back onto the John Deere because I gave my neighbor a quick call. I thought that would rather call then just sort of rock up there. And he did say that he's got an old weight, a homemade weight that he made years ago from steel and concrete that's sitting in the front yard that he's willing to sell. He does reckon it weighs about one and a half tons, which I don't know if it's too much. But I thought I'll get this hooked back up and hook up to the weight and see how the tractor balances and then I'll make a decision based on that. I do feel bad for putting a little John Deere through this because this is a lot of strain. I might break it in half, but that seems to balance pretty well, actually. Let's move it a little bit. Yeah, it seems okay. I mean, you can feel the weight. It does feel like it sort of wants to lift the back wheels a little bit, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because... We do have a lot of leverage on the back because this thing is so long. And if we put a ton on there, well, we're going to need quite a bit of weight in the front here to balance it out. Yeah. I think that'll work, but I do feel really bad for our little John Deere. We're definitely going to have to upgrade to a bigger tractor. Problem is, I don't think we can do that right now. We just don't really have the money for it. Our money's been going down quite rapidly and we still haven't got a cedar or a roller 
or a combine. So, um, yeah, I don't think a tractor is on the books right now. But yeah, I think that'll work. Even though it's not ideal, I think it'll work. Uh, so yeah, I am gonna go pay the man and we'll take that home and hopefully we can start work here real soon. Alright, we are back at the farm and I have got the spread out. I put it over there. Let's see if this is actually going to work. I can't imagine that that weight is too small. If it is, we're gonna have a big problem because there's no way our little tractor is gonna handle any more weight. It probably shouldn't be having that much weight on the front in the first place. So we're really pushing the limits here. So far, seems to be doing okay actually. Okay, there we go. Fantastic, right, that is actually working really well. It's not ideal, but it works. All right, so um, we are going to start work here. So we'll get um, lime done on the fields first, and then we'll do another pass, and we'll get fertilizing done, and then we'll take it from there. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. That is liming and fertilizing done, which means both our fields are now ready for seeding. The problem is we don't have a seeder, so I'm going to have to get onto that and buy one fairly soon. I'm not too worried about that. I've seen a few available online. The thing is just finding the right one that'll work with our little John Deere. The tractor really is our biggest limiting factor at the moment when it comes to implements. But I think we've been working around it pretty well. I would really like to buy a bigger tractor though. And to help us work towards that target, I saw a job pop up on the old app. And I decided to take that. It shouldn't take us too long. It doesn't look like the field is too big. But it's hard to judge off of the GPS imagery. We'll see when we get there uh, what it looks like in person. But it is a harvesting job. I think it's corn. But I didn't actually pay too much attention. It might be sunflower, I'm not 100% sure. But we'll take a quick look and see what exactly we are working with. And then we'll get that job knocked out. Hopefully we'll make some decent money. And then we might actually see if we can find a cedar later on today. I don't think we'll be seeding today. But if we can find a cedar, uh, that'll be good. We'll also have to go get some seed from the shop as well. Okay. So, we have got a New Holland and a case, by the looks of it. And a really nice trailer as well. Fantastic. So that is a T6175. Everything looks to be hooked up. Ready to go. And the combine is a case. 7150. Beautiful. Okay. Is everything hooked up here? Uh, it looks to be, yeah? Okay. Very cool. Let's get that fired up. Let's get that unfolded. Very good. I think I'm going to have to close that gate. Because that looks like an accident waiting to happen. Alright. Very good. I'm going to let that warm up for a minute. I'll go close that gate along. And then we're going to get the drone up in the air. And we'll get this job knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Right, well, that is another job done. And that was quite enjoyable. That is a very nice combine. And obviously, I do love harvesting. So, yeah, a perfect combination there. And very enjoyable indeed. Yeah, we also did get paid for that job already. Uh, so we are sitting on 44,830 pounds and that does include the little bit of a bonus that we get after the uh, contract is fulfilled so yeah it's good to get a bit of money back into the account because we've been giving out a lot of money recently and i was getting a little bit concerned with how quickly that balance was dropping but yeah unfortunately we don't have everything that we need just yet uh, to get the fields done I think I will probably grab some lunch and then hop on the old interwebs and see if I can find a good little cedar that will work with our John Deere here uh, locally and hopefully for a decent price so that we can continue work on those fields. And after that we'll have to look into getting a roller as well which is going to be necessary to uh, compact the field down a little bit just to make it easier for us when harvest comes around and we'll get rid of some of the small stones and uh, but also it helps the seeds uh, germinate a little bit better because they've got a bit more uh, soil contact so yeah quite important we'll have to get a roller i can't imagine that'll be too difficult to find uh, but we'll see and if we can't find a second hand one i don't think they're too expensive new either so not too worried about that the big worry at the moment is a combine because we are going to need one uh, fairly soon. I mean, we haven't seeded yet, but I don't want to leave it till last minute and then I maybe can't find one. So that won't be ideal. I mean, if that does happen, we can always uh, borrow a combine or rent one. But yeah, I'd rather not uh, be in that situation. So we'll look at a combine. Uh, fairly soon here as well because it is going to be quite necessary so yeah i am pretty happy with the progress that we have made so far today we've got quite a bit of new equipment uh, both brand new and new to us uh, second hand new and um, yeah it works pretty well i'm actually happy with how all of that turned out it would be really nice to have a bigger tractor though it would make life a lot easier with a lot of this equipment especially uh, the loader there obviously but yeah the John Deere is coping pretty well so I can't complain about it too much eventually we will upgrade uh, get a bigger tractor I think we'll keep the little John Deere and just buy a bigger tractor because it would be nice to have two tractors around even two small tractors wouldn't be bad but uh, one small one one bigger one would be ideal I think at this stage but anyway we'll have to wait and see when we'll be in a position uh, to buy a second tractor for now we'll just work with what we have but anyway i think we are gonna leave it there for this video so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time